there's an ominous fog on the shoal of the watering hole and zombies with rotting bodies but not any souls will awaken from the grave to take a wandering stroll from what i saw it's obvious god is not in control Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space, Chapter 8, Search and Rescue. Things are looking up. A military ship just shocked in. The USM Valor. I don't know what it was doing out there. It must have gotten our distress signal. We can't talk to it until the comms array is fixed. I'm gonna hack the door to communications for you. Get in there and find the comms control station. You never say please. Kendra, you never say please. Just just one time. A little bit of manners is all I'm asking for. It's not a lot to ask for. God, I do so much. All you do is sit there in your room and hack stuff, supposedly. I don't even know. Maybe you just say that to make yourself sound cool. Maybe that door was always going to be open anyway. Okay, guys. So, this is a bit of a shorter chapter again compared to the rest of the chapters in the game. And there is a little bit of backtracking as well. You may recognize the area we're in. We're back on the bridge. But uh, there's still some cool stuff in this chapter. Don't worry. Apparently they uh, are sending a fucking Rottweiler after me or something. I don't know. We have a store right here, but I'm actually going to hold off for one second on that. And you will see why. Oh, yeah. Cool-ass looking bridge. All right. All right. It's gonna trigger it. There it is. Yeah, so if you're good enough to shoot these things off, you can actually pick them up and use them as projectiles. <laughs> it kind of works out the same way. But you can kind of do some cool stuff with that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Back. Back. Whew. I was whiffing hard for a second there, guys. Is that all of them? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna try to... Come on. Did I do it? Are you dead? Nice. Yeah, I wanted to take this one specifically. And maybe this one too. If I can. Yeah, just shoot him off just like that. Shit! No, no, no! Don't do it! Don't do it! I need those. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe I pulled that off. Okay. Now I think it's time for this. Because we got some strong dudes. Back up off me. Woo! That didn't kill him! Ah, he caught me. <laughs> I really thought that would kill him. You unimaginable bastard. Whew. That's one of the most serious quarantine events in the whole game right there, I think. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I actually really saved any ammo there trying to be fancy, but you know what? I figured it's a cool little technique we can do. Let's just try it once. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and use a medium med pack here, because that dude did catch me. And that didn't even, like, heal me the full way, even though it, it, looked, it looked like only half my health was gone. That's how much HP we have now, guys. So it's ultimately a good thing. But yeah, fun start. Fun start right there. So we're going to run around and re-loot, because some of this stuff has respawned. It is uh, the kind of thing where they change the environment just a wee bit. Not much, but, you know, they respawn some items in for you. I think we've actually got them all already. And they did block off this elevator here to the, uh, wherever the hell this went. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> um, yeah, a big wall of dead flesh. Is it, It's the elevator to ship systems level, whatever that means. So, yeah. I wanted to come in here and just pick up this stuff kill these dudes. We've got this bench back here still. And a new Xbox to break. Thank you for that. I'm just going to go ahead and use that right now.
And that's actually perfect. Now we're back to full. Alright, let's go back and hit the store before we get moving, guys. We got plenty of time. Like I said, this chapter shouldn't take all that long. Alright, so here's our inventory. We've got two larges. I'm gonna move one of those. Not doing so hot on the plasma energy right now. Doing good on line racks, though. So I'll move one of those. Ripper blades, we can move eight of them. Hey, it actually moved for me. That's nice. And, uh, yeah. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let's take out one medium med pack. And then... Let's take out... Mm, I think we'll be fine with just one extra pack of plasma energy. And then I would like to actually sell something so I can get 10,000 nodes, or 10,000 credits rather, and afford to buy a node. So I guess I'll sell like one large med pack. And um, yeah, that's... Uh that's plenty. And then I will buy one node. And then I'm going to go hit up that upgrade bench. Here's the thing about this chapter and the next chapter, guys. There are no node doors at all. I'm pretty sure I'm correct about that. I, I specifically remember that there are two chapters towards the end of the game that don't have any node doors. And I'm pretty sure it's this one and the next one. Which means that we can be a little irresponsible with our nodes. <laughs> Which is nice. It's real nice. Okay, what do we want to upgrade, guys? The world is our oyster right now. Um, I think I should probably grab a couple line gun upgrades. Like... Well, all I can do is get... I can get these three right here. These, that's decent, I guess. We'll do the mine. We'll do the width. Because that's fun. And we'll get a little reload action in there, too. That's good. Yeah, like I was saying before, there's really no reason not to buy the mine upgrade because you have to spend a node to get to these two anyway. So rather than spending it on the empty one right there, why not just spend it, spend it on the mine upgrade? That's just the way I see things. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Let me do a last-minute spot check on my inventory here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We should pick up more stuff, obviously. Now, we don't actually need to go down to where Hammond was hanging out earlier, but I can't remember if there's anything down here, so... I kind of want to just go down and look, if we can even still get down here. Which, uh, it appears we cannot. It's another thing that they blocked off from us. That elevator's just... deactivated now. So, we don't have a lot of options as far as where we're going. <laughs> uh... We actually have to pop into this elevator right here. And um, I believe they've blocked off floor one. Yep, so we're going up to three. I'm going to get my force gun at the ready. Isaac, the door to communications is open. But I've been getting some weird feedback spikes on the local comms. I think someone's listening in on us, so be careful. Well, it's probably that Dr. Mercer guy that we ran into earlier. The dude with the... Pet Regenerator. Fuck that guy. Also, I had completely forgotten that I, uh, was out of Force Energy, so I kind of wish that I had grabbed a couple more packs of that stuff. But I'll make do, I suppose. These screens always stick out to me as being really, really weird graphically. Like, they're obviously supposed to be, like, static, right? But they just... It's like the texture overrides the model of the screen. Like, they were painted in really poorly. I don't know why. It's almost like a... It's like a hallucination that Isaac's having. It's just... It doesn't look right. But yeah. Okay. I don't remember much about... Oh, shit! Yeah! Okay. You need to die, sir. How about you take an upgrade of mine? Ow! And then how about I kill your little baby? While you're blowing up. Ugh. Dude actually tagged me. Okay, 
Okay, I think there's another one right around this corner, actually. Stasis isn't going to do much because he's already shooting pods out, so... Let's just hit him with one of these. He didn't actually die. He didn't actually die. God damn it. Get out of here, man. Why will this guy not die? There, that got him. That was some garbage, man. That dude was living? Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? I got something special for you, homeboy. Yeah, one ripper shot. That's right. I haven't been utilizing the Ripper maybe as much as I should be. Honestly, uh, you guys may remember a couple videos back I was talking about how like I couldn't remember if the Ripper was better in the first game or the second game. <laughs> well, after using it for a little bit in this game, I think it was the second game where it's really good. I still like it in this game, but I think I need to get some upgrades on it before it's going to be really good. So yeah. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I just healed myself, and I'm pretty sure I wasted a medium med pack. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Awesome. Okay. Why are we always finding these dudes right as they die? What? Oh, fuck, it's Slenderman! It's Slenderman! No, no, no. No, don't run at me. Fuck you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh. Did I get them all? Okay. Yeah, that's horrifying. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot about these dudes. Okay, so, yeah. These guys... I think they're actually called Dividers in the game canon. But I call them Slender Man because that's what he fucking looks like. And as you kill them they divide into these smaller parts that still keep coming after you. And I really don't like them. Oh my god, they're creepy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm always amazed all over again at how many different types of necromorphs are in this game, because you don't really get that in a lot of horror games, you know? Like, especially like zombie-type games like this one. They're usually just like, yeah, there's, there's a zombie. Sometimes they'll be, like, faster or stronger, but generally that's... You know what you're getting into, you know? They're not all that different. And this game is just like, hey, here's this kind of thing, and then there's this kind of thing. But then there's also these over here, and then there's a new type right around this corner. It's just crazy. I need to reload my line gun. Whew, okay. Communications log. First comms operator Bailey reporting. The ship is under attack, but requests to issue a distress call have been repeatedly denied by Captain Matthias. He won't say it, but everyone on the bridge knows why. This is an illegal operation in a prohibited system. We've all known for months, and we kept our mouths shut. Not anymore. Mayday! 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 This is USG Ishimura! This is... Hell! I don't believe this. The whole comm system is offline. Now we've gone too far. Bailey out. Okay, I don't know why the subtitles are lagging like that. <laughs> yeah, so that's a fun little lift ride. You kind of expect to get attacked on it, but you actually don't. You just have to deal with the corpse falling onto your face. Communications array offline. A service technician has been notified. That comms array is in bad shape. We need at least six working dishes for a strong enough signal. Make sure they're aligned symmetrically so there are no power gaps. Sure thing, Kendra. So we picked up the schematic there for the medium air can, which is like one of the worst schematics in the game. Like, who gives a crap? Like, are you kidding me? Give me something good, for the love of God. Okay, so this is the comms array. We get in by going through the door over here. I can't remember if we get attacked. I don't think we get attacked till we're in there. Yay for power nodes! All over the place in here. A 
love it. Ripper, line rack. Not getting a ton of plasma energy. Or force energy, for that matter. Oh, there's a little bit. How are we looking? Oh, yeah, we're still good. Okay. Pretty sure we're going to get jumped in here. Entering zero gravity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some toughies, too. Look at them, guys. Oh. Cutting you off before you even get to me, bitch. <laughs> Who else wants some? Who else? Ooh. Stop it. Stop it right now. He just turned around and ran out of my stasis. That's what happened right there. Back here, you little bastard. I'm not going to step out there so that you can come at me from any angle. I'm making you come to me. You will step into my room of death. Also, guys, look how wide the line gun is now that we upgraded the width. That's awesome. And it spreads out farther if I aim down like that. It's so cool. Come on, you jerk. Get back here. He's being crafty. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I don't know why I reloaded in the middle of that fight. That was an extremely poor decision. I think I just panicked because I didn't see the other guy until he was, like, right up on me. I thought it was just one guy left. That's what he was doing, guys. He was going for backup. That's really smart. Oh, what a douche. Okay. So. Zero-G comms array room. This is actually a neat little puzzle. It can be kind of difficult to figure out if you don't know the solution. It's really just following the directions, but... Basically, we got a helpful diagram right up there showing that there's certain active units and certain non-active units. And Kendra told us that they need to be lined up symmetrically so that there's no gaps in the power. So basically, the solution is to just move the broken ones out of the way and move all the active ones to a spot where they're all in a circle. So you can use that to help you along if you're not sure, like, you know, where to find these things. But they're all just scattered about. Sometimes they're obnoxious about getting in the hole. Get the fuck in there. So that's four out of six. Let's pop over to this side. Away with you. Move this guy up. This busted ass thing out of the way. And where's the last active one? This is where the diagram comes in handy. Uh, it's on the outer ring behind. Da, 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 behind one of them. Ooh, there's an item. Seriously, can't find this thing right now. This is annoying. Oh, is it all the way over there? Ah, it's too far away from me. Just gonna drop it nice and gently. Move over. I love how it instantly reorients itself for you. Messages can now be received. That's it. It's working. Get back to communications and use the control panel to send our coordinates to the Valor. Please! You're welcome. Bitch. Ugh. 
Okay. Now we're done in here. That's another puzzle down, guys. Cruising. Making all kinds of progress. Now I think we're good until we get back across the lift. Go ahead and refill my stasis. And time for ride number two. Baby! Baby! Baby got run over. Hey, look at that. Some force energy right there that I walked right past before. <laughs> so yeah, on the ride back, you do get attacked by the baby. But it can't actually hurt you, so... Holy God! Fuck off. Fuck off. Keep fucking off. Stay where you are. And then get line gunned. That was a weird way to say that. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. This dude just rides the elevator up to attack you. It's like, bro, you don't know how to use elevators. Quit fucking with me. You are BSing me right now. You can't BS a BSer. Don't try and BS me when you're standing over there and you're standing over there. And I don't know which way is up. Alright. So we've got two more nodes, right? We should find a place to stick those guys. Maybe on the Ripper, because I keep saying how this is so underpowered right now. It just it pisses me off every single time because all the damage upgrades are so far away. <laughs> and we have to spend so many nodes just to get to a thing. Uh, okay. Well... I guess we can start it. Well... Where are we out on our plasma cutter? This thing's almost done. I kind of want to just finish this off. That way it's done and I don't have to worry about it anymore. I can't finish it off right now. I'll tell you what, we'll worry about that a little later. We need to get our ripper uh, pimped out a little bit. So let's start at the capacity and then we'll move up to that node and then we can hit reload next time. We can hit reload and then with one extra we can then hit capacity and damage, which isn't bad. I think I'll probably just snake up along this line here and grab these upgrades. And um, that's probably all we're going to be able to do for it in this game. I don't think we'll be able to fully upgrade everything we're using, guys. Because it's not how the game works out. But I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a try. Oh, I didn't actually want to go this way. I mean, it's okay because I was able to hit the bench, but... We actually want to be back up here. Two comrade. What the fuck? It's all the way back there? I missed the door back there. I didn't mean to. Let's see if we get attacked on the third trip. kind of obnoxiously long. <laughs> I guess it's all about building the tension. Alright. There's this door that I missed. I really thought that we were just going all the way back to that other door um, at the bottom of the elevator. But not. Oh, we didn't activate this. God damn it. This is USM Valor, widecasting on all frequencies to USGE Shimura in response to your SOS. We've picked up your escape pod, number 47, and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. What? Isn't that the escape pod Hammond jettisoned? One of those things was on board. No. No, 
this isn't going to happen. USM Valor. Come in, Valor. Our signal isn't strong enough. I'm going to open the blast doors to boost the signal. Error. Blast door blockage detected. Please contact a repair technician. Shit! Isaac, there's something big on the hull of the ship, directly above the comms array. Something organic. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. We have to get the doors open to transmit to the Valor. You should have a clear shot from ADS Cannon 48. Get to the cannon and blow it out into space. Oh, snap. That's right, guys. It's another cannon sequence. <laughs> and this time it sounds like we're fighting something huge. Maybe another Leviathan? Maybe something else altogether. So I was right that we wanted to head back this direction. I just forgot to activate the damn comms array. I forgot that we had to actually touch that panel instead of just putting the things in their place. There's that extra step there. It's alright, though. It's alright. This area is noisy. I love this game, but I hate trying to balance the audio in this game. <laughs> it's actually been a real pain in my ass, guys. If I'm being honest with you. Okay, yes, yeah, so now we go back down. And now I believe this door to our right should be open. Yep, Cannon 48. We've got an extremely, extremely fortunate door that leads us right to it. <laughs> Such convenience. Am I going to get jumped on here? I doubt it. There's not even any panels for something to bust through. No vents. Of course, if it's a scripted sequence, they could just bust through the ceiling regardless. There's no reason the developers couldn't make that happen. But it looks like we're good. Alright. Get out of my way. You are protecting items. That I have much need of. Yeah, and if you move all this stuff out of the way, guys... There is a message written right there. I'm not going to lie to you, I have no idea what it says. It's probably just another variant of the stuff I already talked about before. Oh yeah, getting some bad flashbacks here. These goddamn cannons. Well, at least we got another node. Okay. You can see something big through those doors, guys. Look at it. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh yeah, so this guy's actually pretty peaceful until you start shooting him. I could just chill here as long as I want. But you know what? We can't let that slide. We gotta kill him. Here we go. Bring out your weak points, sir. So that I may shoot them. Whoa. Alright. My guns are already overheating. He's doing mad damage. Gotta try and blow up his barrels as he shoots them at us. It's tricky though. Come on, come on. Oh my god, I, I can't aim fast enough. Just basically have to get lucky. Save the, save the ammo so we can protect ourselves so it doesn't overheat. Got another one. Oh, whiff. I whiffed so bad on that. Yeah, I shot the barrel out of his tentacle thing. Did you guys see that? That was awesome. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Come back, come back. Dude, he just shot three of them at me. Jesus. God damn it. Get up here. 
I'm dead. <laughs> yes, it's still a tricky fight, it turns out. It is a lot easier than the last one, but it doesn't make it easy. Alright, that was just a practice run right there. Here comes the real shit, guys. Wake up! Wake up, ugly! Yeah, you're getting lit up this time, son. Come on now, come on. I can't believe I missed. God damn it. Wow, I feel like he's throwing a lot more this time. What the fuck? I knew that was gonna happen. Ooh, I just barely got it though. Yeah, if you can shoot the weak points before he throws the, the stuff, it does make him drop it, which is your best bet, but... Oh, come on, man. He just takes a lot of punishment. Carefully, carefully. I didn't even see him throw that. God damn it. So close. So close. Come on. Drop it! I can't... Oh, okay, that did count. Nice. I think I got it this time, guys. Yeah, fucker. Shut up, bitch. Isaac. <coughs> Isaac, are you there? Thank God you're all right. I've been trying to reach you. Someone's been blocking my rig signal remotely. <coughs> A crash must have interrupted the signal block. Hammond, where have you been? <coughs> Surviving. Barely. A thousand men supply I haven't packed myself up. Listen. I'm calling abort on the mission. Fuck the CEC and fuck the chain of command. Yeah. We have to get the hell out of here. I think I've located a shuttle on the crew deck. The flight log says it needs a new singularity core, but we can probably salvage one from the Valor. 
I can see the tail end of it sticking out from the side of the Ishimura. I'm headed down there now to find a way inside. I'll meet you there. Come and up. Hell yeah. Isaac, if what he says is true about the shuttle, we might have a chance of getting out of here. Head to the cargo bay and see if you can help Hammond. In his condition, he may not last long. Finally. Thank you, Dr. A. Finally, somebody who has a plan to get the hell off this ship. We just have to go on to another ship and find a singularity core, which sounds like a potentially really dangerous object to handle. <laughs> a good thing I'm an engineer and I can handle pretty much anything, theoretically. Yeah, that's a fun section, guys. Um, I think that thing is called the Slug. I'm not 100% positive about that. But, yeah. I really like the, the cannon shooting sequences and concepts. It's just that first one is just, like, freaking ridiculously calibrated difficulty-wise. This one's, uh... This one's a good challenge, you know? It's difficult, but it's not prohibitively difficult. So... Yeah, I enjoy it. Did they restock these, or did I miss this? I probably missed it because this is where I fought fucking Slender Man, and I was freaked out of my mind. What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, you little bastards. It's more of you. I hate these things. Uh, oh, God! What the fuck? Where did you come from? Where did you even come from? Bastard. Yeah. How's that feel? You like getting chainsawed? That's how it feels to me every time you jump out of nowhere. Oh, oh there he is. Ah, he got me! Ah! Yeah. Punch him. Punch him to death, Isaac. That's what he deserves. Ugh. You know what, guys? It's funny. Those guys right there are actually, like, one of the best death animations in all of video games. I think at some point in this game I'm gonna have to do that on purpose, just so you guys can see it. I don't even want to tell you what it is. You're just gonna have to wait and see. It's freaking great when they kill Isaac. We'll make that a thing. Got all that loot. Okay. Shitty static room. Yeah, I think that's about it, guys. I think we're actually just about done with this chapter. All we gotta do is get back to the tram system, which is not a super long trip at all. And we'll be good to go. Also, I really like how Nicole was trying to talk to me <laughs> over my comm, and then Hammond just busts in like, Shut up, bitch. <laughs> i got important things to say. It's like, Hammond, I'm trying to... I'm trying to uh, keep my love alive, okay? Oh, Jesus. Back up. How about you all just chill right there? Ah, oh, the stasis is not working great. Ugh. Didn't go the way I wanted. Maybe I should upgrade my stasis. The thing is, you don't really upgrade the uh, size of it. You just get to upgrade the duration that it lasts, and the number of shots that you get from a charge. I can't hit this guy. Alright, bitch. You're gonna make me waste it on you. <laughs> Dude was slithering around like a snake. Alright, are we good? Are y'all done? Yes, yes, give me the loot. Ooh, I don't like those things, guys. They're so creepy. Alright, the good news is, I think we are done in this area. Yay, another successful chapter. Whoa, okay. Back. Back with you. This is why I keep the force gun at the ready, guys. Look at that. Three shots is all this guy took. Ooh, he's still moving, though. Stop with your tentacles. Your beardy tentacle stuff. I don't like it. There, I chopped his head off with his own thing. 
Yeah, I don't think you can bust these guys open after the fact. I don't really like messing around with them in case you can. But I'm pretty sure that once they're dead, they're dead. You're not going to rupture them and spill all the little dudes out. Which is good to know. Alright guys, short but sweet chapter. That's uh, Search and Rescue Chapter 8. Thank you for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch. I'll catch you guys in Chapter 9.